because I don't work the comedy cellar. You niggas think I'm not, I don't have value. I don't have no motherfucking worth because I don't work the comedy cellar. Get the fuck out of here. 79 to 83% of your acts in there is trash, nigga. The comedy seller, they're trash. All those niggas is working because they got little pussy ass television credits. That TT, that TTJ Miller nigga from Silicon Valley, that nigga is trash, bro. Goofy ass motherfuckers, man. But this is what the game is doing. I'm not fighting. I walked away from the comedy cellar, bro. Right after Manny passed away. I walked away. This is when Norm was just coming in, getting familiar with shit and getting comfortable and Niggas had me doing falafel spots at like 1.15 in the morning. Nah, I'm good, my niggas. And I'm not built. I'm not a house nigga, man. I'm not built for that scene. Especially the whack-ass comic behavior. I talk about this shit on other podcasts, but this is my shit, and I need to, I need to expand on this. This whole ass behavior whenever you go into the comedy cellar these niggas is acting like you are beneath them cause you ain't got no Netflix deal you ain't on no NBC show you ain't you you ain't got a development deal you ain't this you ain't that you don't know Amy Schumer you don't fucking get the fuck out of here it's high school all over again. The cool kids at the table, the jerks, the the the, 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 the misfits, the jocks, the this, the that. There's been times I've walked into the comedy cellar. I want you motherfuckers to really listen to where I'm coming from, man. There has been times when I have walked into the comedy cellar with my, my, my motherfucking little big brother, Kevin Hart, and everybody and they mama is talking with me, laughing and joking, this and that. Oh, do you remember this time when we did this and blah, 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 blah. it's all love? My nigga, I will come back there the very next day. Very next night. And these niggas acting like they do not know me. Same shit that ugly bitch Leslie Jones did. With that Jennifer Lawrence shit. In case you niggas, in case you niggas don't know, let me tell you niggas about this shit, bro. One night I'm 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 I'm, I'm drinking and smoking with Sherrod Smalls. Che is out there. He's but he going on downstairs. Um, Sherrod, we all outside kicking it and shit, smoking. Um, Leslie Jones is out there with Amy Schumer, Jennifer Lawrence. I, I used to say it was Jennifer Love Hewitt. I thought it was Jennifer Love Hewitt before until my niggas over at Legion's Escape helped me out. <laughs> and that's when I realized that it was Jennifer Lawrence. But Jennifer Lawrence and I, we was having a moment. And this nigga Sherrod Smalls was trying to hate on me. Ah, oh, she doesn't like you, Jim. Ah, oh, but whatever, whatever, whatever. So I was looking for an alternative route and to try to communicate with Shorty. And nigga, Leslie fucking Jones, this bitch that's been trying to fuck me since I was 16, 17 years old, this bitch act like she didn't know me. And then she act like she didn't know who Kevin Brown was. A lot of you guys may know Kevin Brown as Dot Com from 30 Rock. But we know Kevin Brown as the Uptown Comedy Club owner, manager of Tracy Morgan, Jim Brewer, all of these guys, like the guy, the guy that helped break these guys' careers. All right? 
Leslie Jones used to perform on this nigga's stages. He used to help her pay her rent. And this bitch says she didn't know him. This is the kind of whole shit that go on down at the cellar. Fake celebrity motherfuckers. Yeah, and, 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 and you people, you, you don't understand the power that you guys have. And this is what, this is why I feel like I have to. I have to, I have to protect the realm for your sake. If you're not going to take the power back from these fuckers using their, their, their quote unquote fame to de- dis- detach themselves from reality, then someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. Because Leslie Jones, this bitch is lost, bro. What she doesn't understand is that Hollywood is positioned you. You the ugly motherfucker. The ugly loud bitch in movies. You are never to be a sex symbol. Look what they did with the girl Gabrielle um, from um, Precious. She went and tried to get sexy on motherfuckers, and what they do? Nigga, never seen that bitch in another movie. They tried it. They tried it. Where's she at? Nah, man. Hollywood is prestigious. Leslie Jones, you better fucking get your shit together. Because remember your behavior right now. Bitch, you got to come back down. You Listen, there's a lot of niggas out here that is truly talented. And you should be threatened by that. You should really be threatened by that. Yes, right now you're winning because you're ugly. That's a fact. Let's make no mistakes about that. You're winning because you're ugly and you're comfortable with it in public. But inside the four walls of your home, you're in disarray. You hurt. Your conscience speaks to you like the fucking villain from 300. Your gods were so cruel to shape you this way. Shorty, you're going to be ugly for the rest of your life. You're going to have to hold that. And you think that you famous right now because you are right now famous, bitch. Let's let's get this shit all the way out there. Yeah, you got a lick right now. But my nigga, you a nasty motherfucker, Leslie. Everybody knows who you are and you acting like you something else. Try to ignore like you didn't know Jason Steinberg. I got a very close friend of mine because he didn't want to fuck you. And he's in your and your clique and around the people that you feel really comfortable around. Because he didn't want to fuck you because he got a wife and he's he a stand-up nigga. You want to stop communicating with him. And I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to say you was never trying to fuck me, man. I'll pull my sauce out on you. I don't, I'm, I'm never going to lie to my audience, dog. And you, you know that. You know that, Leslie Jones. Even on stage, nigga, you know my disposition. Truth teller. 